G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well today I'm going to not talk about Pookie or Subrats, let's talk about Harry. Harry's a nice bloke in Sydney and uh, he's been a special interest to Ruif, Critical Think and myself for quite a few months now. And that's initially because he said he was interested in knowing the truth. And for a day or two he did find it. But then he had a bitter pill and he had to go and swallow that. But it now seems that he's a lot happier now that he's seeing what he thinks is the truth. And of course, after declaring today that the globe is dead to him, I can only assume that he's no longer interested in knowing the truth. I do love his observation position there though, and there is so much more that I would do with that view if I had it, I can tell you. And if anyone is really truly interested in how Harry got on with the Ruhif's auto level, Ruhif did do a whole video on it, and I really recommend you go and watch that. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if none of you guys are subbed to Ruhif yet, please do. The guy's a genius. Love all his work. He does great stuff. So let's have a look at Harry's ship video that he uploaded on the 7th of September 2019. And this one is a container vessel, which makes it really easy because containers are a standard height of either 8 feet or 9 feet. So it's just like you've got a built-in ruler. And even better, that ruler is calibrated because it goes through all the same atmospherics all along the same light path. So you're basically calibrating the whole light path from the ship to your eye. So now there's really nothing that you can claim is unexplainable or unmeasurable, is there? Looking at the close-up of the boat, we can measure vertically that the water line is about four and a half containers below the deck line, or about the same height as the bridge is above it. That's how far it is down to it. So, so firstly, on the uh, zoomed-in image that Harry provided here at one spot, I drew in a blue horizon line. So that's right down at the water line, at the horizon. Then I drew in a red line where I reckon the deck is. Then from that I counted up four and a half containers and drew in the yellow line. So that's around the 36 feet mark above the deck line. Then I copied the section of the image and I slid it down about four and a half containers. So now I can draw a green line, which is roughly where the water line has to be. And to double check that I used the bridge and cut and pasted that down and I drew a second green line. So those two are pretty close. And those two are around 20 to 30 feet below the water line. Um, horizon line is below. So that shows that the water line is about 20 to 30 feet below the horizon line, or about 20 to 30 feet off hidden. Now that's close to the um, calculated value, Harry, that's around, which is what, 30, 32 feet? And it's certainly a long way from zero, which is what the calculated value on the flat earth is, in my opinion. Now, I know what you're going to say, Harry, that I can't measure angles over a fluid environment or some such, such Subarats-esque sort of thing. But your problem is, Harry, is that if you want to claim that, then you too cannot observe anything over a fluid environment. Because, mate, this is a two-edged sword, and that will cut your argument down as well as mine. So if you want to claim that, you can't say that you can see anything either, in my opinion. The other thing I want to look at is Harry's compression argument. Well, where that fails miserably is that the compression is not blocking any of the light at all, yeah? I'm sorry, I've got too much pooky going on here. So, if the boat has colours or letters down the side like this, when it's compressed vertically, as Harry and no fanfare seem to want to say it is, when all these colours compress vertically, the colours are still there, they're still present. Nothing has blocked them. So when I did this digitally, this is what we see. The colours are still there, they're just compressed. Now Harry, where on your boat do you see the colours from the lettering on the boat, side of the boat, that is showing in that compression zone? Any colours, any differences in colours along there should be showing up in that compression zone. I'd like to see you show that. I've never seen it yet, because guess what? The curvature is always hiding it, it's blocking it. So. Compression is not the excuse you're looking for, Harry, in my opinion. I asked Harry a couple of times to have a look at the International Space Station, or one more orbit footage, but he's just not willing to look at those things. I asked him just the other day to have a look at the rocket launch video of mine from a few days back. It's really just a very high smoke trail after all. No technology involved once the rocket's gone whizzing by, but he's not willing to have a look at that. Anyway. 
seeing that proof of the sunrise directly above you while you're still in the dark, it's a beauty of a glow proof if you ask me, in my opinion of course. Oh and Harry, I know you often feel like I like making hit pieces, well please let me correct you, I don't like making hit pieces at all, I absolutely love doing them, but not on you mate, um, just silly people like Pookie and Subrats, yeah, guys like that have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. They deserve it. But you, no, this is not a hit piece, Harry. After all, you did ask me to explain, and this is me explaining. Okay, well, if you enjoyed that video, guys, you know the drill, click, subscribe, share. And while you do that, I'll show you a little bit of secret footage I snuck out of Wolfpack headquarters. You think Wolfie's a big meanie? He's not, he's just Big Ted, really.